What's going on guys? It's James Ford Outdoors and today we are going to find, hopefully find, some morel mushrooms. Now I promised this video so I'm going to do my best to explain everything I know so hopefully you guys can leave with something important and you'll be able to find your own mushrooms a lot easier. Now I feel like it's a little early. Right now it is April 6th. Usually in the spots that I have around here, they usually come up from anywhere from like April 10th through like the 18th is when I found them. But I'm gonna try and find them because as I like to say, you never know until you go. As I'm walking through the woods, I'm kind of looking at the surrounding area, looking at the foliage to, and it kind of gives me a good indicator if the mushrooms are gonna be up or not. And I gotta say, I gotta say, it's pretty close. If they're not up yet, they will be very soon. But I'm gonna look around and hopefully we'll find something. Oh my God, I think I found one. I think I see one. Yeah, yeah, look at that. Look at that. There she is. The first one has sprouted. Look at this guy. Oh yeah, dude. This guy is huge. I mean, he's not huge, but that's a good eater right there. So they're here, which is good, which is kind of what I thought. A little earlier than I thought this year, which is good. Um, so I'm just gonna look around, keep picking. Uh, a few more tips for you so basically a lot of times morels are pretty unpredictable which is the truth like they will one thing that is predictable about them is they will show up in the same spot every year not necessarily the exact same spot but the same area so if you find them one year you definitely will find them in that area the next year all right this is a good indicator right here this guy has just started to come up. So that tells me some more information. And this is what you gotta do, you just gotta piece the clues together. So this gives me information that is not quite prime time. And next week, I'm gonna be back next week for sure because they're still sprouting right now. Cause that guy just told me that clue. So I'm gonna pick what I can. There should still be quite a few up I'd say. But uh, we'll get to looking. A trick. I like to use is I always pinch it off at the bottom because you're leaving that little bit and I've heard that it helps it helps them regrow next year supposedly I don't know if that's true or not because it's just the way mushrooms work like that doesn't really make sense but I still do it anyways just in case you know extra extra little reassurance I found another one Yeah, it's perfect. I'm finding them here and there, but I got other spots and I want to check those out to see how they're doing. So stay tuned. Hopefully we'll get on a good spot and you're looking at 20 or 30 of them and just standing in one place. That's the goal and it's happened every year. But like I said, it may be early, but we'll find out. You're just trying to narrow down your search area gives you your gives you a better chance to find them because like i said they're they're unpredictable i mean they're predictable but unpredictable at the same time so just gotta piece together what you can and then use that information to your advantage yeah look at this guy pretty good one right there if anybody knows what these things are let me know in the comments below. I don't know what they're called, but I usually use these as like a good indicator that morels are starting to come up. All right, I'm walking up on my honey honey hole, which is the best honey hole, or at least it was a couple years ago. So I'm gonna check it out, see how it is. This thing too. 
these come up almost exactly the same time as morels. They got that like darker part on there. The leaves are kind of like two colors. If you see that, you know almost for a fact that they're up. Look at this. One, two, three, four, and five within I don't even know five feet of each other ten feet maybe so yeah this is why I call it the honey honey hole and it should be like this in the whole area and this is the spot where you filled up five five gallon buckets full so hopefully it's like that like I said last year it wasn't but I'm hoping this year this is gonna be the year and look at these oh yeah that's that's money right there. Get better than that. And look, as I'm sitting here, I just glanced up. One, I don't know, you can see one there, one there, one there. I mean, they're absolutely everywhere. Two there. Oh my God. One there, one there. One there. Holy crap. This is what I'm talking about. Honey, honey, hole. It doesn't get any better than this. I mean, seeing, I don't even know how many, just crouching down, I'm seeing like 10. I'm seeing four more over there that I just didn't see a second ago. This is crazy. Wow, this is awesome. Another one over there. I don't even know what to do. I don't even know what to do. Like, I'm so overwhelmed with all these mushrooms. It sounds like I'm geeking out, but like, if you ever experience this, this is special. Like, not everybody gets to see something as cool as this. Like it, it, you know, some people it doesn't sound cool, but it's amazing. I just don't even have words. This is this to me is one of the coolest things on the planet. Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! You'll have to see this one. Oh my goodness! Oh. Dang! This guy is huge. Wow. Wow. Wait, up to my face? Yeah. Yeah, this is this is why I call it the honey honey hole. You guys are gonna trip over this one. This is an arma armadillo hole and the mushroom is growing sideways sideways on it look at that and it's absolutely huge one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven i mean holy crap oh and another thing to point out is i have another spot like 45 minutes from here and they always come up. I think they came up this year, March 16th. And it's now April 6th. And that's when these are up. And so they always come up three or four weeks earlier than these guys. But they're in open woods. The reason, I have no idea. Maybe temperature, not sure. But you just never know. So that's why you got to look at the clues around your area. Look at the plants. Look at the, the green foliage. I mean, just look at all the signs. And that can narrow down when you need to go out, when you need to look, and all that good stuff. Another thing to note is weather. Weather is very important. So weather, you want the nights to be somewhat in the 50s. I typically say day, day temperatures 50 to 70s consistently rain helps rain if you get a good rain it will sprout the growth they can come up overnight um yeah i'm just dumping information on y'all so hopefully just piece together what i'm saying and just use it to your advantage best you can because this man you can't buy this you really just can't buy this nobody can buy this it's a cool thing yep <laughs> Look at this guy. There's actually two of them right next to each other. Another thing to note is definitely 
if you're finding them, walk back through the same area twice because I just did that and I found like 10 more that I literally walked past the first time. I didn't even notice. So make sure you do that because you will miss a lot. More than you think, really. Well, I'm gonna have to go back to the truck. My arm's getting a little sore from carrying all these all these mushrooms. Look at that. Got a whole bag. Take a peek. Ooh, man. That's full right there. I had to double bag it because it got so heavy. But yeah, this is just uh one of like four spots, so. Oh man, that's like a perfect one. Shoo. All right, I'm back at the truck. I gotta show you all the haul. So here it is. Whole bag full. It's probably, my guess would be seven pounds. Wow. All right, off to the next spot. All right, guys. I just walked probably, I don't even know, a mile and a half, two miles to my other honey hole, which I call this one the giant spot because this is a spot where I found multiple morels bigger than the size of my hand. And I just pulled up to this spot and I'm looking around and I see one that is absolutely massive. And it's just it's gonna blow your mind it really is all right let's go look at this a double hold on hold on look at this boom 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 but you ready for this guy holy behemoth oh my god this is why i call it the giant spot. Oh my gosh. Look at this guy. Holy crap. I have said holy crap so many times today. But holy crap. There's another one over there. Giant. And there's more like this too. And I just walked up on this spot. I mean I could see multiple big ones. But look at this guy. Wow. Just wow. Like, nature is amazing. This is just amazing. Wow. Another monster. Absolute monster. One, two, three. And look at this guy. Four. Walking up on another stud. Hand comparison. Literally the size of my hand. Found a triple. Look, I'm telling you, this grass with the dead grass on top of the branches, that's where I've been finding them. At least that's where I've been finding them heavy. I mean, I'm on a, I'm, I'm really far away from where I was previously. We got more open woods. I mean, everything's different, but you still got the same grass with the dead grass over the branches. And that seems to be what they like. I would keep searching, but this bag is beyond full. And I'm out of bags, so I have to go back. Well, this is what I ended up getting on the second run. Probably more in the first one. So I'm gonna pour it into the bucket and see how many we got. Oh, 
They're not all gonna fit. That's the hall. Yeah, that's a lot of mushrooms. Completely filled up a five gallon bucket. I mean, that's crazy. Well, that's it for today. I hope you all learned something and I hope you use all my tips and tricks. That's pretty much everything I know. I think I covered everything. So you can just pick and choose, use those little clues to help you narrow down where you're gonna search for the mushrooms. And then once you find them, you can kind of figure it out for yourself. But anyways, as you can see, it was pretty successful. Only filled up a five gallon bucket. So that's pretty good. Um, found that giant one, which was cool. I mean, I pretty much hit most of my spots. I'm gonna come back in a week though and hopefully there will be more, but I hope you all enjoyed. Like and subscribe. I would appreciate it, and I'll see you next time.